how to make a patent application. A patent application is made in form 1. Form 1, as you can see, is the form that is used for making an application for a grant of a patent. Now, the relevant sections under which this form is filed are mentioned there in section 7, 54, 135, sub rule 1 of rule 20. Now, when you look at the form 1, the form 1 in itself contains the details that are required that should accompany an application, the name of the applicant, the name or their names, uh, you can see here the type of application, uh, the type of application details the different types of patent applications for which the same form can be used. For all kinds of application under the Patents Act, it is form 1 that is used and describing the various other details that accompany what category because the category of the applicant will decide the fee that has to be paid. If it is a small entity, startup or other, if it is a natural person, if it is not a natural person then, then what if it is a corporate entity they will have a flat free structure. So, the category of the applicant will decide what fee will be paid, details of the inventor, title of the invention. Now, title of the invention is the only part of the specification, patent specification that gets into the form 1. The every other thing should come separately in form 2. Authorized registered patent agent, the number of the patent agent, contact address and contact details. Then if it is a convention application, the details of that, if it is a PCT application, some details on that and, and certain declaration. There, there are a host of declarations. Uh, you will find them and towards the end, these are all declarations which have to be made. Towards the end in column 13, what are the documents that has to be attached with the application? The first one will be form 2. So, form 2 will form a part of, form 2 is here, form 2 is filed along with form 1. Now, form 2 you will find that form 2 is the document that is filed as the provisional or complete specification. So, form 2 has a different structure and form 2 has the substantive details of the invention, what we call the specification, be it provisional or complete. Form 2 is used for bringing out the substantial details of the invention. So, you again have title of invention, applicants names, preamble of the description, how it is the description of a provisional will be different the beginning of the description of the provisional will be diff different from that of a complete, the description itself and finally, you have claims in the case of a complete, provisionals need not have claims, then date and signature and the abstract of the invention. So, this is a separate form in itself, form 2. Form 2 can only be filed accompanying form 1. So, form 1 and form 2 has to be filed together. What to include in a patent application? As we just said, form 1 has to accompany form 2. So, that is the minimum. Whenever you file form 1 with has all the details about the inventors, the applicants, the agent who helps in filing the application, the title of the invention, the fee to be paid, form 2 will have the substantive details about the invention, be it in the form of a provisional or a complete. Now, when you file form 1, if you come to the last column of form 1, you will find that there are certain attachments that have to go with the application. Now, form 1 requires you to file a form 2. So, form 1 as we already mentioned, form 1 has to be filed along with form 2. Then b complete specification as amended before the International Preliminary Examination Authority as applicable two copies. That is if there is an amendment made before the IPEA. In such cases, then you will find two copies, sequence listing in electronic form, drawings wherever they are applicable, priority documents. If you claim priority before the date of filing the complete specification, then you will include the priority documents. Uh, translation of priority document, if the priority document is in a different language, statement of undertaking of form 3. Now, statement of undertaking is filed in form 3, declaration of inventorship on form 5, power of authority or, or form 26, 
and any other document that is required along with the total fee. Now, so we understand that when you file form 1, it has to be accompanied by form 2 and all these documents as and when they are applicable. So, form 3 can be filed along with form 1, declaration of inventorship form 5 can also be filed along with form 1. So, this gives you a list of documents that have to be filed along with form 1. So, this comprises the list of what you will include while making a patent application, types of applications. Form 1 tells us what are the different types of applications that can be filed before the Indian Patent Office. Now, the second column an applicant is required to tick the appropriate category of the application. So, we find in this column that an application could be an ordinary application. By ordinary, we mean an application that is filed in India alone. It is an application which is filed for a patent in India. Convention application, which could be a, an application that is filed under section 135 or a PCT national phase. PCT national phase is a PCT application when it enters India as a national phase application. So, the application could be one of these three things and it could also be in the column beneath it, it could be a divisional, it could be a patent of addition. In the case of ordinary, it could either be a divisional application or a patent of addition. Now, divisional is an application that is filed under section 16. So, you will know that in the case of a divisional or in the case of a patent of addition, there has to be an earlier application. So, in both these cases, there must be an earlier application. So, ordinary convention, PCT and national phase applications are the main categories. In that, there could be divisional or there could be a patent of addition. If it is an ordinary application, then it means that it is the first application filed. If there is a follow up to divide an invention, there were two or more inventions mentioned in the application, then it could be an divisional filed as an ordinary application or if there is an improvement or a modification filed after the ordinary first filed application, there could be a patent of addition and that is the same for convention as well as for PCT.